My mind is spun I've had enough Feels like I'm burning down The flames rise up And I can't tell What's coming next This life is like a game of roulette Hello everybody, uh, Car Dreamer here. This is a dedication video to my partner, Ash. For those who don't know, on March 1st, Ash passed away. Um, it was unexpected. It should never have happened, but life is whimsical, uh, which is kind of why I chose the song I did at the beginning of this. Um, he was the second best friend I ever had. He was amazing, and he was always there to talk to. We worked together in real life for for five years. D class was his project. This was his doing. He started this, and he brought me on board. And there, I am so thankful that he did. I'm happy he did. Ash was an amazing person. I wish. The community would have gotten to know him the way I did, but um, he had so much going on. Um, I found later how many people he r truly touched and interacted with around here in the local community. And it was so awe-inspiring, and I I get why he wasn't as active as I was or I am uh, with with everything you know between Twitter and uh, the channel, responding to comments and everything. Ash tried to balance so many things. He was into LARPing, cosplaying, um, just hanging out, gaming, D and D, everything. Ash was amazing. He was always lighthearted. I've even when he got angry, like, it was just always calm. He didn't let anger control him, and he let it go. Uh, you know, he would call me the vent when he needed to, but he always managed to find ways to deal with it positively. And Ash was always there to listen when I needed him. I know he was really good friends also with Kiathani and Ready Player 5. They were childhood friends. Um, it's heartbreaking to lose someone like that. And I know this video is kind of late in coming. It's taken a while for me to be able to compose myself enough to make the video and for us or the fine times for uh, others as well. I do want to thank in, uh, Autumn uh, of Autumn's Orbit and, and Dace of Stonebeat Productions for being here. I want to thank a link to the Dan from Indie Drop News for being here. There's going to be a plenty of links in the description to check out their content and say thanks. I also want to give special thanks to the LARP Project on their YouTube channel for saying some kind words about Ash as well. I'll put a link to that video in the description below as well. It's at the end, but it's still a really good video. And actually, it's a really cool channel if you guys want to check that out. Um, but yeah, D-Class has been a trip. It's been a ride. It wouldn't be what it is without Ash. He's the one who does the art or did the art for the channel. He's the one who – he put probably more time and effort into each thing he did than I I get to do. Um, all his videos were recorded, edited, and posted from his PS4. Props to PS4 for the, the ability to do what Ash could do on it. Um Ash is the one who had so many great ideas. He he chose some really amazing games. And this channel evolved because of him. He is what held everything together. So it's going to be very difficult moving forward once a backlog of material featuring, featuring him is gone. Things won't be the same, and I, I guess they shouldn't be either, I suppose. Because what was so great and, mag and magical with Ash... Is unique and you can't capture that again so I'm gonna try my best throughout the years to stay true to the nature of what D class was about 
I will always try to honor Ash. So without further ado, uh, we're going to get into just talking with Days of Stonebeak, Autumn of Autumn's Orbit, and A Link to the Dan of Indie Drop News, and just talk about um, the fondness we had for Ash and some of our memories as well. I just want to, first off, thank you both for taking the time to do this. Um, you guys already know what Ash meant to me in real life, and he is the founder of the channel. So, and I know you guys have talked to him on and off, and even without, I, he, I mean, I found out from between you two, like, you guys were communicating here and there when I wasn't even aware, so I'm like, which is fine, I mean, obviously it's not my business, but I thought, I, I was happy to know that he was taking the time to at least talk to you two, and, yeah. um, you know, enough that you sent him that cool little ghost that he had upside down the whole video. Oh, yeah. man. That was such a <laughs> yeah, like, just clueless to what it was. <laughs> it was funny to me. He, yeah. I talked to him after it, and he was like, yeah, I realized after I recorded it that it was upside down and what it was. <laughs> oh, good times. Yeah. It was. Um, so basically, that's what I just want to talk about is like just fun. Yeah. Like your guys' fondness and like some of the highlights from you guys with with Ash. You know, I know, Dace, you found uh, D class uh, pretty early on. And mm-hmm. I don't know how, f- I don't know if you found it after I joined or before I did, honestly. I think you found it after, to be fair. Well, but I don't know how far back you went video wise. Oh, I see. Well, I don't think I dipped too far. Like, obviously, the one, the thing that I came across was the uh, Link's Awakening discussion that you guys did. So either you were just, like, kind of guest speaking with Ash and weren't a part of D-Class, or you were already a part of D-Class at that point, since both of you were doing that video. Um, but that was pretty much the oldest thing that I had checked out um, out of the videos. But, uh, yeah, that answers the question. Um, I actually, I was, I had been a part of D class for a little bit by then. Okay, actually, cool. I, I think he only had when I joined, he had only had his Fury Let's Play up and maybe one or two other videos prior, and that was it. Mm-hmm. Okay. But um, well, no, I yeah, that discussion still brings back fond memories, like doing that. That was definitely one of our favorite videos, and we talked about it a lot of time every time he came over. Like, we need more discussions like that. I'm like, yeah. but you you can't. Link, it, Link's Awakening is so unique. Like, you're never going to be able to have a game like that to talk like that again. Yeah, honestly, it's... I think I've watched that at least two or so times because it is such a great discussion between the two of you. And it's, like, my favorite Zelda game anyway, so... Yeah, it's just it was a blast checking that out. I'm glad. I'm glad. Um, I appreciate it. And it was. We've had other. I I feel bad. We never got to do our high rule, like crisis on infinite high rule discussion with you. And I and I feel like you and I definitely should buckle down and and f- like. I'll do more research and get something together. And I really feel like in honor, we, we should do it just to make, just so that like, that whole thing isn't wasted or let go, so to speak. Yeah, no worries. I'd totally be down for that. And um, it's, you know, maybe we can do a Link's Awakening uh, revisited type of discussion when the remake comes out. And kind yeah. of in honor of it all, like celebrating oh. you've discovery D class and Ash and and myself and yeah, yeah, I I'm totally on board with that idea. Perhaps if Autumn plays Link's Awakening for the first time, then she can get in on the discussion as well. <laughs> yeah, Autumn, come on, step up. I I remember a certain box opening that she that the girl in there kept claiming like I don't even know what these all are, but I gotta explore them all. And she I, I haven't seen this. Yeah, <laughs> the SNES classic. Yeah, that's true. All right, because Link's Awakening is on there, right? Yes, it is. It is. All right. And the new one's coming out this year sometime, I think, or well, the the remake. Yeah. yeah. I, I be honest, it's because I didn't put the Barbie games on there that you're <laughs> you're just not drawn to it. That's solely the reason. <laughs> you know, what? Barbie is life. <laughs> so what was like? 
what are some moments, whether they were from the channel or just general conversations that you guys have had, whether they included me or not, like that you have like these fond memories of? Well, yeah, like other than the Link's Awakening discussion, I think one thing I have very fond memories of at this point was when Ash was releasing uh, the episodes for uh, Momodora. Um, Mm -hmm. I think that was maybe a a year ago now or something. Maybe not quite a year ago. I'm not sure, but... Actually, it might be more. Yeah, yeah, it's very possible, uh, to be honest. But I just remember, like, getting up each morning and just being in the kitchen and, yeah, just getting my coffee ready and just... I would have that on uh, just whether it was the phone or whatever, just Mm -hmm. on the counter. And just it was such a treat watching him go through that game and just seeing the visuals and commenting and yeah, it was just really great. So I think that's one of my most fond memories in terms of like a full let's play that he did. Um, Yeah. Other than that, just like anytime you guys would be doing like multiplayer games and just all the, the raised voices and shouting and just all the the crazy (laughs) good times. (laughs) It was always fun to listen to. I, I definitely cannot argue that. Um, his Mama Dora stuff was definitely some of my favorite solo stuff that he did. Mm-hmm. Like, just in presentation, uh, like, I don't understand how he had the skill to go through Mama Dora the way he did. And especially putting those two, um, he did the two hardest trophies together, which mm-hmm. was, I think, the hardest playthrough. And not only that, but you couldn't you couldn't attack enemies. No, I think he did all three. Hardest playthrough, you can't attack any enemies but the boss, and you can't die. You can't take a hit. Wow. And he, and he did all three in one go. In one go. Obviously, yeah. it probably had to take him some time, but he did it all in one go. Yeah, sweet. I'm like, you know, in a retrospect, obviously, that that's a little bit of, like, Dace Godhood there when it came to <laughs> <laughs> right there. <laughs> oh man. So are you gonna rise to the challenge and uh, do that? Oh, oh no, 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 no. D or this is D class. We don't rise to challenges. We casually fly under them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how Ash did it. I don't know how you do it. I, I am. Ne- I will never be that good. I used to be better when I was younger in in middle school and high school. And I I got old, I don't I don't know what it I don't know what else to blame it on, but I I just can't do what I used to be able to do. Yeah, no, that's fair. It just means you're slacking when you could be, yeah, keeping that edge sharp, man. I'm I try I just I, I'm getting a little better. I've gotten like Dead Cells has definitely gotten me. To, to pay attention a little more but i know you and and ash i don't know how you guys did it but honestly yeah like when i think of some of the things i'm pull off like i'm able to pull off or just the fact that like just certain maneuvers or types of games just come to me fluidly like like i don't really I don't think it's really one thing that I could say, like, oh, it's because of this or it's because of that. Like, I just, I seem to just have a natural way with certain games. Um, and I think every every gamer is going to have that kind of thing for one type of game or another. Look, I'm just talking it up to your old, like, just gods. That That's all it is. <laughs> Fair enough. Because like, it's not even that. Like, he breezed through games that there's no way I could do. Well, I shouldn't say breeze. He he did games way easier than I could have done. Like, Salt and Sanctuary is a, not an easy game. Mm-hmm. And I know he died, but still, he managed to get way further and quicker in that game than just the couple of times I sampled it. I'm like, no. And he used the hardest class in the game to do it. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. I haven't played that game, but I just love the feeling of going into hard mode or whatever and just laying waste to everything. You and, would like the game. It, yes. Yeah. 
I, I know you would. Yeah, it's kind of on my list of like back burner ones that I will eventually pick up physical copies of or whatever. But I'm not I'm not like racing to get that one at this point in time. That's fair. Um, you know, and I know you know, Ash wasn't always the most um active in discord and now that i've seen the impact he's had in the community here i totally get why mm-hmm. um and that's something i can talk about i'll talk uh, that i've talked about in, in in my solo part but um like i know he was always fond of you too like he always appreciated the fact that like you were the first big viewer. Like, not that other people, the videos didn't get views per se, but, like, you were the first steady one. Yeah. And he was always appreciated of it, uh, appreciative of it. We've always talked about it, even if it wasn't always recording. We've talked about, like, he just was always so appreciative. Um, yeah, that's um, super cool to hear. And, um... So, Autumn, what are your thoughts? I, I know Dace got into it more at the start, but I don't know. You guys are so – you two are so close that I don't know what you've seen through Dace or what you two have shared. Um, See, the thing is with me, I was a lot more of like kind of like the, the, the fly on the wall, the ghost in you know, the background type thing. I was never really super present in terms of what you three had going on. Um, but I did hear a lot through days and, you know, the, the recordings he was talking about that Ash did for his uh, Let's Play or that playthrough or whatever. Mm-hmm. I like days plays his videos out loud. So like I'm always there listening with him, even though I'm not the one actively going and listening to these videos. Yeah. And so in some ways, it's kind of like I was, you know, watching along with days and i threw everything that he would play of your guys uh, stuff so and just hearing you know the interactions you guys would have like you know days would update me and say like oh like you know card dreamer and ash are doing this today or this is what they were talking about to me today or we we're discussing this and we are, have all these plans for this so like in some ways i was roped into things uh, pleasantly roped into things because I enjoy hearing about everything and you know even though Ash and I never really had uh, you know full conversations or anything because of his lack of being on discord and uh, present in that way so I, I don't know like he's I it was always like a I was, yeah I don't know how to explain it in like yeah <laughs> but he was always there in the background for you no yeah. i get it and yeah so and like even though i wasn't the one who created that like 8-bit ghost thing i was still there while dace was creating i was like still had the same enjoyment watching the video of him you know talking about it when he received it and i had just the same as much as like excitement that dace would so i don't know in some ways he was like a, a close friend that i never talked to yeah. <laughs> no, that actually, I think that's awesome. Yeah, that is a really cool. I one of my, I think one of my other fond is like fond memories of all of us. And Autumn, I, I don't think you were there, and I wish you had been. It would have been hilarious. But it was the one time I'm trying to go to bed early, and like <laughs> Dan, Days, Ash, I believe was in the group chat as well. Like you might have been. I feel like. Were, were you in the conversation? Maybe you were in the I room. I may have but... even just been watching or something. But I had I was totally aware of that, and I remember you getting frustrated because you're like, <laughs> I need to go, and then these guys are like, Well, you said that like this. Yeah, like, like twenty minutes tw- ago, 20 and you're still here. Like, <laughs> so yeah, I was definitely a part of that. That's awesome, man. Because yeah, that as much as it was like. I sleep. It was it was fun. That those are the moments like I treasure just from friends in general. Those are fun. And <sighs> you guys succeeded. I was exhausted that day. <laughs> <laughs> and I know Ash had talked about wanting that to happen again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
but that would probably be his, that he would do that just out of ways to get back at me for some things too. So yeah. I mean, so in uh, Ash's memory, we're gonna just start keeping you up all the time, yeah. just for him. He's probably up there going, "Yep, serves you right, buddy. I win." <laughs> <laughs> but and you know, and it's I, I just want to you know. I, I don't you guys actually got to see the best part of Ash, to be fair, because I feel like even though even when he was angry from what anybody saw, he was not in he wasn't a, an animated angry person. He he would just say he was angry or that he was getting mad. And then that would be pretty much the extent of his anger. Sure, he could raise his voice a little bit, but he was kind of sometimes he was very um I don't want to say monotone. He he could be monotone at times. That's actually really what it was. Mm -hmm. And unless you were really close to him or really interacted with him a lot, you didn't – you may not know what he meant by his statement. It could come across wrong or it, it could seem devoid. But when he did that – did the channel, like everything he did, especially when it was us together, seemed to lighten everything for him. Yeah. Like he was way more passionate. He was definitely more more animated vocally, um, and it wasn't just D class. Um, my understanding is when he did the role playing Sunday nights, or he did his LARPing once a month. He did LARPing. Yes. What um, a loss. In fact, um, I put it in the Discord, and I I will link it in this video as well. The person who is who was a part of that has a YouTube channel as well, and he talks about Ash, not by name, but he's talking about Ash at the end of the video, kind of just talking about how he was, what kind of person he was when they, he got to interact with him and and so forth. So that would be really sweet to listen to. Um, but yeah, like he did LARPing once a month, made a point of taking off work, which always irritated uh, the manager at Dollar Tree, which I was always fine with. I mean, that that's happened. <laughs> but no, he did LARPing. He did cosplaying at conventions. He, I mean, he was nonstop going. Um, he was actually even running a Zelda um role play like pen and paper role playing that they were getting they were starting and, and writing up the story and so forth with too so yeah that's so cool yeah that is really neat but yep ash did a did everything like i don't understand i am blown away by how much he how many different things he had his hand in and it wasn't you know, I you know hindsight's twenty twenty. But when I look at everything he's involved with and how far he did it, went with it, he wasn't half arsing it. Like he really did a lot with it. Like I don't know where he found the time to do it. Well, when you're dedicated. Well, that and you. Don't, I guess you don't sleep either. I don't, because <laughs> <laughs> which explains why you try. To, you guys tried to keep me up because I don't see like there's just not enough hours in a day to do everything he was doing. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, he larped. He made his own costumes. Um, and he he actually did it well enough to make money doing it. He was doing that on the side, making props and stuff. Yeah, I love that. I would have liked to have uh, seen some of that stuff. I never got to. I've never been to LARPing. I've never been to his role playing games. It would have been interesting. He tells me adventures. Him and Ready Player Five would share their adventures and what kind of <laughs> sometimes jerks that Ash could be in game. <laughs> but <laughs> but and I always would laugh. Like I need to be there to see some of these things when they happen. Yeah, that would be a riot. I'm sure. I know this is like not very long. The right, I mean, because you guys, you know, I know Ash wasn't actively, you know, didn't or as active as I was on Discord. Uh, Discord, but we obviously know why. But I know Ash was just he was just as big of a part of the channel as I was. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, and I appreciate that you guys took time to just talk about him, some of your favorite videos, and. How he was always, even there, even if it was just in the background, he was always kind of like a fond presence, you know, kind of like what, what Autumn was saying. And I appreciate that a lot, guys. 
I know Ash would too. Yeah, for sure. But um, so for everybody else, um, again, this is Autumn of Autumn's Orbit, Dace of Stonebeak Productions. I will have a link to their channels down below as well. And um, thank you guys for for being here. Yeah, and yeah not thank you. A problem at all. All right, everybody. So I have with me Dan of Indie Drop News. I appreciate you taking the time to be here to talk about Ash for just a few minutes. Um, everybody got to know him on some degree or level, and um, I know he regarded the Discord as I, I told uh, Days of Stone Beacon and Autumn of Autumn's Orbit that. Uh, you know, he appreciated everybody. He he wanted to be more active, and unfortunately, right when the plans started coming together for it, is when everything happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Yeah, well, thanks for having me. I really appreciate that. Um, really great gamer. Uh, I yeah, like he popped into the Discord chat every once in a while, and so it was really nice to have him. Anytime he would pop in, we kind of be like, "Oh, hey, Ash, how's it going, man? Like, haven't uh, chat." with you in a while so what's been going on and so it, it would be very brief but uh very cool nonetheless to have him around when he was around uh, i'm sure you'd appreciate it yeah um i mean i know i th- one of his favorite moments i don't i'll ask what yours are what yours are in a minute um but i know one of his favorite moments and i brought this up to days in autumn is that uh the one night I'm trying to get to bed and you and all three of you or four of you decided to keep try to keep me up as late as mm-hmm. possible. Yep. And he wanted to do that again. And I'm I know days did. I know I know everybody does. And I'm just like, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I know he he really enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun. I think that was kind of different for him, given all he's into. I don't know if he's ever if he ever really had a chance to kind of just deflate or decomp- uh, decompress like that. Yeah. So I kind mean, of I just think... let it all out, uh, speak uh, what was on your mind and kind of just go with the flow more or less. Exactly. So he, I, I think I know he really enjoyed it and want that I think that's one of the reasons he wanted to do it again cuz mm-hmm. it's one of those he could stay at home, relax, not deal with anybody but yet still interact and just chill. Yeah. Yeah, no totally. I I uh, agree with that completely as far as being able to kind of just open up to all of us like that. No, I uh think that was one of the the coolest nights to be able to kind of just chat with everybody. Um and get to know him a little bit more. You know, that was the night that I found out um, that he did, like, cosplay stuff. Um, I believe he mentioned stuff about LARPing and whatnot as well. So, but, uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of interests, uh, very similar interests. And I got to say, he was quite the nerd, like, the ultimate nerd, um, which was just (laughs) so funny to me. Because, yeah, he. I mean, he was relatively young, and so, like, for as much knowledge as he has in a, a lot of different areas, as far as being a nerd, like he really was the ultimate nerd in my opinion. And it was, it was just so great to to see that passion of his. Oh, he really was. I, in fact, he had a discussion or a game. Th- uh, uh, I don't want to say it's trademark, a theory about a game, mm-hmm. <laughs> but um, I, that I think, if if he had the time, he definitely would have incorporated you in that he really was passionate about doing. Mm-hmm. Um, it would have probably been, if he had been able to arrange it, it would have been you, him, and Ready Player Five, and it was mm-hmm. about Monster Hunter. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, and specifically, like how much the swords are, or, like weigh, and how strong is the hunter in in Monster Hunter, and he actually had figured it out. Just a couple of weeks prior, um, I, I feel like it was a couple of weeks. It may be longer. Time's fluid for me. Uh, mm-hmm. But I feel like he had it figured – he he figured it out, I think, like just a couple of weeks prior to passing away. And mm. I, it was just like I never would have thought about it. Like being as 
because I think this all stemmed from him wanting to see Monster Hunter in a Smash game, and he wanted to judge how powerful they were and all this, and he went and figured it out, and they're obviously way bigger than humans and stronger, and I never really thought about it that way. Yeah, wow. I don't think I would have ever thought about doing something like that either, to be honest, um, just to kind of bring that into to what it would be real life wise. You know, there are these people that with even the Final Fantasy swords will cosplay them and or make them a, a real life tangible thing. And uh, like they're massive. And so with Monster Hunter, I mean, that's a perfect example of like what kind of scale would those weapons be so to figure something like that out uh I, I don't think i would ever have imagined to even like put that together piece that together about um what it would be in real life or how big it could be in real life so what a conversation that would have been for sure i would have been excited to hear it, but yeah i would not have had the patience or even known to be fair where to start him and ready player five i knew i know mm -hmm. like went through the entire franchise pretty much of the game so they were hardcore monster hunter fans yeah and i knew you had played at least world i don't know how much i don't remember at least how much uh monster hunter you played but out of everybody else on the discord i know you did play and you mm -hmm. really and you enjoyed it and i just thought that definitely would have been a conversation i would have i think you two would have fit really well doing yeah that conversation yeah honestly i started off playing um monster hunter world and then i kind of played some of the other demos like on the 3ds and such um got generations played through that a little bit but um yeah i mean for what i know from monster hunter world i mean that right there in itself is a pretty decent game to start off with as far as like the scale of of the game and like the weapons and such too because they do they do compare to all of the other games as well so like i don't see why like me starting with generations um would be a big deal compared to like world or something like that so but what games did ash play do you know oh he did them all he was there he from played the them very all? he was there from the very first monster hunter okay wow um, I th I know he wanted to do the, the um there were two that were not released in the US that were online he really would have liked to have done. Mm -hmm. But he obviously they didn't come to the US, but huh. Yeah, that's crazy. But there um so I have so just I guess to reminisce a little bit cuz I don't remember or know how your side of things you know i know days of stonebeak productions was the one that got me and ash into your discord like he yeah. introduced us so i'm kind of curious like what your first um not introduction to us as far as us coming in and saying hi but so you you know you you met us what 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 did did you do any like looking at the videos? What were some of the earlier memories video wise of Ash? I guess and by extension myself, but you know the the focus is Ash. So yeah, no, totally. Um, that first first week or two that I set up the Discord and brought Dace on, and I said, hey, you know, bring on some other people that you may know, and he was and he kept bringing up D class, and I was like, who? is d-class like is this just a singular person or because like obviously we all have our own names you know indie drop could be taken as multiple people but it's just me um so but d-class i was like you know who is this or or them um or they and so once he brought you on yeah like we kind of um talked a little bit and then ash came on and so yeah I immediately looked you up, kind of just browsed exactly what video guys or video you guys placed um, on your channel, and well, obviously to get a feel for what you do. So, but as far as the first video of Ash that I watched, um, 
let's see, what was it? Honestly, it was pretty far down the line. I think, to be honest, I was watching most of your stuff um, up for a while, and then I ended up uh, jumping into Chasm, which uh, Ash did, and watched that all the way through, and... So honestly, like that was one of the first ones. Obviously, you guys do like the 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 like the collaboration or the group recordings, and so I would watch those as well. Um, and those are always super fun. You know, you guys are always just so rambunctious at times, and <laughs> like, and like, we're actually pretty toned down as you as you know we're actually yeah. we're pretty toned down for the channel which is saying something oh yeah no totally <laughs> yeah you guys when you're doing it individually um it's a completely different video in comparison to the group videos like those are just those are a lot of fun you know you guys are really uh just digging into each other um teasing one another and stuff like that so it's it's a really good time to watch those videos too so um I think the first group video I watched had to have been something related to Mega Man. I can't recall off the top of my head, um, but I know you guys did some Mega Man stuff uh, in the past. And so diving into that, you guys were talking about it. And even your discussions, too. Like you and Ash would do a couple discussions. I'm going to have to like go to the channel to figure it out real quick. <laughs> I think I would have this already good. written up, but definitely yeah. did not. It's actually more fun to doing this, you know. I was never the script type of person. I know yeah. Ash did some scripts for a couple of his videos, mm -hmm. and don't get me wrong, they paid off when he did. Like his mom adore. I I mentioned it over. I mentioned it over and over again. His mom adore video for the deconstructed is one of my favorite videos, not only on the channel but that he did personally, and like it's just so well done. And he wrote a script to go off of for that. Mm hmm. Yeah, but that's too good. So let's see. We did a discussion at one point. Um, I remember Dace watching your Link's Awakening discussion. That was pretty much his first video of you guys, from what I understand. Correct? That is correct. Yes, the first uh, Link. We did actually. We actually did two, but the one, the one he's think talking about and likes is actually was our first one. Yes. Right. Yeah. Okay. So um, that's that's super cool, though. Uh, so many great discussions on here. But um, the first one I watched, your preferred console is your preferred console the best. I think that was the first one I watched. That was not uh, Ash, though. That was me and Little CD. Was it? Oh yeah, that is you and Little CD on the front there. My bad. Okay, so. Hold on a second. I'm browsing through. <laughs> you guys just have so many videos. <laughs> right? It would be like nice so to many have videos. It would be nice to have the subscribers to go with it, but that's D class <laughs> for you. <laughs> yeah, those will come with time. I mean, how long has the channel been running? A couple of years. So it's not but it's also took an it's actually taken a decent while i feel to find better pacing and footing it's a lot easier to get subscribers in other medium like i'm already up to like 60 some subscribers on or 61 subscribers on twitter and i uh to promote the channel which like blows me away because i had i don't think i've even been a, been there for two months and yeah. yet so i'm like two away or three away from the current subscribers on the channel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, wow, in two months I've done with a couple of years I couldn't do on the channel. But um but we it it, it definitely changed it, it the channel's changed its feel over the time. So I can get that the earlier stuff could have been a little off putting. It wasn't gonna pull people in uh the same way it may now. Mm -hmm. it, it took so it I mean, yeah. So that, that I doesn't bother me. I'm just saying, uh, we'll, I'll eventually get there. But um, as far as the, the discussions, yeah, not to go off on too much of a tangent. Yeah, no, they're always super fun those discussions. So, but um, one of the ones I remember is like your guys' uh, Stan Lee discussions. Um, yeah, you guys were just. All of you kind of had this same feeling. I love how in sync, I guess, you all were with, <laughs> with your feelings and just 
how sad, how saddening that was. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, I guess uh, the upside to that is uh, at least he gets to go visit him now. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it <laughs> that way. This is true. He would be the first one of us to all get to meet him and get his autograph. That's yeah, sick. right. <laughs> now I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Bringing that up, yeah, that 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 would kind of stink. He can uh, definitely go converse with him and nerd out. So man, that's so crazy, man. That that is just so crazy. Now what uh, what about the whole villain? hero thing now who decided to be the hero like why did he decide to be the hero in comparison to the villain and you <laughs> vice versa or something like that um so that was an ash thing um that actually had nothing to do with the channel as it stands now hmm. the, the whole d class and d class hero villain thing stemmed from a separate project that him and Kiathani were doing and it was supposed to be a, a web series that they wanted to do with this whole story kind of like so what would it be like to have to be just an exa example they weren't actually going to use them but like what if you were a member of the Justice League but you weren't the A, B or even C list cast like you mm -hmm. were bottom of the barrel heroes and villains that just were not important enough for even Aquaman to, or Aqualad to come step in and deal <laughs> with. So like it was just meant to be this really tongue in cheek, uh, fun thing that Ash was doing the art for him and Kiathani, I think had like notebooks worth of notes and story ideas and everything for this. And it looked really amazing for what I've seen of it. And they wanted me to do some voice acting for it. And, which I was going to do, and I was going to, it, it would have been perfect for me, the role. Totally. Um, but, um, yeah, so this channel was originally just a play, the gaming stuff was just a placeholder until they got that off the ground. Mm -hmm. And then the gaming thing, um, when I found out he had the channel, I told him I could help him out. He's like, sure. And it just kind of took off in its own direction from there. So, and then, his webisode thing kind of got put on the back burner because he w didn't know how to do the animation. He was trying to learn how to do animating or get somebody else to do it. Yeah, that's expensive to to get someone to do it. Like I'm looking at stuff for even my channel to do, and it's just it's pretty expensive to do. And then for me to do my animations, like if I were to do it the the original way, that's just so time consuming. Um, frame by frame and uh, just knowing every detail with those frames and such like it's just such a pain in the butt sometimes to put that together so yeah uh, unfortunately I don't know anything in fact they were doing that long before I even knew the project existed so hmm. uh, that that really is a Kiathani Ash thing yeah um, but as far as the villain goes I just like he kept up the hero as a persona from the the webisode thing. I kind of just chose. I fluctuated through the channel. I wasn't anything. I just said I used to just say on behalf of the D, of your D class hero, and then I tried to be another D class hero with him. And I'm like, well, that it, that just doesn't seem fun. So yeah. then I then I went to the villain thing, and we recently. Uh, before he passed away, in fact, I it was in the news video that I released the day of his passing um, hmm. that we were going to drop the hero villain thing altogether. Yeah, I remember you always saying like, "Haha, yeah, it's me, Card Dreamer of D Class. I'm your D Class villain, whatever. Um, I'm slowly taking over the channel, but now you like." legit have the channel how does that make you feel <laughs> <laughs> i don't know it cut i don't know i that i i actually thought about that um after a couple of days of getting the emotional aspect out of it uh, of things out of the way mm -hmm. i did think about that's like 
man, I succeeded <laughs> after I retired. Oh man. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I, I didn't know. Like I thought of so many different directions to kind of take that. And I'm like, should I play up with that? Should I not? And I think I just, I rather just let that go. Um, yeah. But yeah, I kind of felt, I felt guilty for kind of half joking with myself. Like, I, I actually did it. <laughs> and how could and you? Well, right. And, but at the same time, <laughs> I know Ash is up there like, well played, sir. Well played. That's too funny. I, I know he would he would have be like props. He, he would totally get be on board mm-hmm. but i can't do it now it's a, it was a nice retirement gift but it, it's it i'm um, yeah I, I i'm not gonna take any credit for it i mean you could take a little bit i <laughs> <laughs> he used to always say so if if you guys remember if you remember the news video where i, I jokingly set it up to where I shot him. I had started off with him introducing and then I played a shotgun sh- shotgun sound and made it oh, sound like Oh yeah, Jungle. I remember that. I'm like, yeah. yeah, yeah. He kept saying I missed, but it looks like it was just uh it was a, just a hair more than a flesh moon there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is that is gold. Uh but yeah, we were gonna give it up just because we just felt like that was something that would have worked better if we were on camera. Mm-hmm. Like that would have been a better skit that uh, and characters to play if people could see us. And since they can't, it was like it, he just it, it was hard to keep playing back and forth with that. Right. So yeah, I totally understand that. But yeah, man, Ash was uh, quite the character. Um, I love how he kind of brought everything together, and um, like you were saying, he was that type of person though he wasn't active in like our discord community to to go out and um you know be present in other events and activities out in like the real world and such you know larping like i said um cosplaying and stuff like that and and really getting to know and converse with people out in the real world out in the the nerd world i guess so um but yeah you know, so many good memories with him. Um, it it kind of stinks. I wish I would have been able to play a game with him at some point. You know, just a multiplayer game of sorts. Um, but uh, from what we did talk about and stuff like that, you know, it was just uh, it was very meaningful, and I really enjoyed the guy. He was a very very nice, friendly guy. Well, I appreciate the sentiment. I know. I, I know he definitely would too, um, and I, I appreciate you taking the time to share that because it, it he really did affect so many people, and it's funny because I mean him and I always talked just about how he wanted to do more with the community, he was always, or you know online community, and mm-hmm. like, I'm just so busy and just so busy, and I'm like me and Kiathani would sometimes be like with what like because. I know he only worked he was able to work part time. He he worked full time for quite a while and um okay. eventually he left and he was actually getting ready to do another job or uh, get another full time job. But um like it was like I have more I, I work more and ha- and I do like I was producing more and I shouldn't say I was producing more. I was producing more content, but Ash did a lot for the channel. Like Ash recorded his own videos. Ash had to do a lot more in terms of um, editing because he did everything on his PlayStation Four. Everything from recording, everything, everything. Wow. He used, Share, he used Share Factory to put the, the any images in himself. He did the editing. He did the recording. Everything was wow. on PS Four. So. I have to give Sony and the PS4 props for that because there's no way I could no other console would have let you do what he did on that. Yeah, like that, no, that's that true. Was, he did good. Um, and plus he did all the art for the channel as far as thumbnails go, the banner went and and everything else. So, yeah. He was he was definitely active. He just 
his ver- what he did was really kind of the harder stuff. And I can make a video, but it's not. I can't do the editing he done. I de- I can't do the art. Like he's what gave the coat. He did the fresh coat of paint. He's what made everything presentable and gave character to everything. So, yeah. Yeah, a lot of talent there, that's for sure. And yeah, it's so bizarre to me to do that on the PS4 like that. Like, I think it's hard editing on my PC. I could only imagine what he had to go through to edit that on the PS4. Like, that is just, that's a whole I always other wanted, animal to me. Oh, I know. I wanted him to show me um, on mine, but it was so intensive. Like, finding the time for, the, like, to give me pointers, I... It, I'm like, no, nope, I'll stick with PC. <laughs> yep. Yep, um, absolutely. But, yeah, he... Man, he's, and then to find the time to do all that and still do his LARPing, still do cosplaying, still do his job, still do things with family, still, like, I just... that I don't know if that man ever slept. <laughs> he probably didn't. <laughs> all that Mountain Dew, man. He didn't. No, that's me. Him. Oh, is that you? He didn't drink much for Mountain Dew. Um, he was mostly uh energy drinks. Oh, energy drinks. Okay. Um, not that I. I mean, he probably did maybe one or two in a day. Not like I'm not saying he guzzled them twenty four seven, but yeah. Um, and I I know he did uh Dr Pepper. Hmm. So he 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 drank. A variety, but no, Mountain Dew is that's my lifeblood right there. <laughs> <laughs> Arm gets cut open, Mountain Dew pours out. Pretty much that that will be how it is. <laughs> well, I, I think we covered a good amount. We covered, you know, I appreciate you sharing your your favorite times and memories of them, and just um, some good uh, videos that you enjoyed with them, and um. You know, like I, you know, like I said, with in my own part and with Dace and everybody, I'm gonna miss the heck out of him. I still think about him every day. Yeah. Um. But uh, I think he would be touched to know, or I'm sure he is touched to know how much he meant to a lot of people, and including even with the channel. Like I know sometimes he felt like he didn't have the impact he wanted with the channel. Like. Mm-hmm kind of he he often would try to just tell me the channel's mine anyway and like behind the scene he would he would be like look it's your channel you do what you want i don't get to do much you do most of the work and i'm and i wouldn't ref, i would always refuse to take it i'm like it, it it's a joint effort it will be to the day it ends yeah um so i actually i'm like <laughs> Sad irony is I, I think my wording was more along till the day one of you know the day we die, and you know maybe this is the bugger's way of going. Well, got you there. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> but as much uh, as you don't want to take it that way, I mean, right. no, but that would be the way we would interact with each other. I'm sure I'll meet up with him. He's going to be like, so what were you saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, till we meet again, basically. Pretty much. I don't stop talking to him. I always ask for his advice. And just in like real and just to like in real life, I get nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. Too um, good. So I do appreciate you taking the time, man. It means a lot to me. I'm sure it means a lot to him. And yeah, so everyone, again, this is Dan from Indie Drop News. You I will have a link. In the description below to his channel definitely check it out um i will also put a link to your twitter account so uh people Thank can you. follow you there cool man i appreciate that um i appreciate you having me on here so but uh yeah that'll be cool to have a link to the dan down in your description there a link to the dan that see what i see what i did there yes <laughs> <laughs> i did actually that <laughs> is wow that you sir have given us an A class pun for that. That's <laughs> awesome. That is, I can't. We're gonna end it right there, ladies and gentlemen. There's no need to go further. <laughs> you all have a very good day. <laughs>